Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, and I'm going to be doing a peptide injection. Uh, there's something called BPC-157. Those of you who follow me know that I like experimenting with a lot of stuff before or during the time that I give it to patients. In the case of injury, I'm 62 and I get injured left and right. Well, I, I shouldn't say I get injured. I have pain. Being an old fibromyalgia patient, I know what bad pain used to be. I'm in remission at this point in time. So there's ways to do it, and I have a totally different video for that. But in the case where I'm trying to speed up the healing process, like Wolverine, there are things you can do like turmeric, like proper rest, hydration, magnesium, topical, helichrysium or panaway, in addition to manipulation and stretching in yoga. However, I'm going to be doing a 5K tomorrow. I intentionally have not trained for about two weeks. It's not too bad, but I expect that after my 5K attempt tomorrow, that I'll probably have some delayed onset muscle soreness, mostly in the calves and knees maybe, but I wanna try something. South Lake Compounding, it's a pharmacy that I use in Florida, and I've already mixed it up. I'll put a link to the mix. This is Pentadeca. Yes, I would really caution on getting it from anybody but a compounding pharmacy. You have to have a physician, because this is the prescription. You can go back alley, black market, or your local gym and buy from Joe Beefhead. I would be careful because of the possibility of this being mixed in with LPS, lipopolysaccharides. When you make peptides cheaply, you'll have the byproduct of lipopolysaccharide in some cases. Yeah, that's a toxin. If you have that, in the vial and you inject yourself, you can have a whole world of pain and inflammation. So I wouldn't do that. It has worked great for a lot of my patients. Many of my patients are older and that would be 50, 60, and 70. And I have used this several times and it's been spectacular. In fact, I experimented with one of my cyclists who had a hip injury and I thought, no, he's gonna have to have surgery. But luckily within three to six months, he got back to cycling and competitive. I, I'm thinking, well, this must have but, something positive. And the data is great outside the US. In the US, there are controlled uh, studies that are small but you won't be able to see big studies with a million people because there's no funding for those studies because Our pharmaceuticals don't want to invest, mostly because of what I'm gonna show you. There are other peptides that are comparable or more popular like uh, Ozempic, Manjaro, insulin, oxytocin. Those peptides are more popularly now if you wanna lose weight. And the pen injectors are a piece of cake, honestly. You can't even feel them and they're already primed so that all you have to do is press a button and then put it on your thigh. But this you have to inject and you have to aspirate. It comes like this in a powder. The powder form has to be reconstituted with bacteriostatic fluid so it's mixed in with water. Because my uh, race tomorrow, I'm going to use a 30 gauge needle. So I've cleaned off the top. That's Pentadeca, the new form of BPC-157. I'm going to put this 30 gauge needle, which will take forever. That is about 0.25 cc's of fluid. This has to go subcutaneously. And those of you who have watched my videos before, you know I hate needles. I hate even getting my blood test drawn. But this is a subcutaneous shot, so I'm going to clean off my spot. And then this goes in here. I'm going to just lift up some skin, put this subcutaneous underneath the skin, make sure I'm not in a blood vessel, and inject. And that's pretty much it. So, not bad. I did not feel that 30 gauge needle going in. That was actually pretty decent. The idea is with Pentadeca, or also known previously as BPC-157, and the way the peptide works is it uh, is a small fragment of what you make already. And the peptide gets in, it doesn't get recognized as a hormone, but it stimulates. By nature of the series of amino acids it's made up of, it stimulates a couple different options. Number one would be to increase growth hormone receptor development. And if you have growth hormone that's coming from your brain, you have more receptors on your areas that are inflamed or going to be inflamed after my 5K, then the healing is faster. Or I might heal like a 30 year old, or you might heal like an 18 year old, but the idea is you increase your receptors, 
the growth hormone works better and you heal up fast. The other okay. action of the peptide is to cause fibroblasts to migrate faster to areas of inflammation. The third is where angiogenesis is improved, meaning the growth of new blood vessels into areas. That's the controversy is that if you have a cancer of some sort, theoretically, if you inject BPC-157, now known as Pentadeca, you can actually increase growth of blood vessels to the cancer. Uh, there's arguments for and against that, but I'd be very cautious if you do have a cancer of some sort or you're a cancer survivor, so I wouldn't do this. There's other things we can talk about that I'll do in the near future. But with those three elements, increased angiogenesis, increased fibroblastic migration, and then increased growth hormone receptors, I should be able to get past this 5K tomorrow and not have delayed onset muscle soreness. To be truthful, I have been doing upper body. I have been doing a little bit of running on a treadmill, nothing close to 3.2 miles or a 5K. I like resistance, I like cardio, I like yoga. But if I can do this thing tomorrow, like a drop-in race, and not have the ramifications, that says a lot to this. So you can either do the BPC-157 slash Pentadeca after your event and help with the healing once you know there's areas of healing that need help, or you can do it before as a preventative. I'm gonna do it before as a preventative. There's also other things that can give you some benefit. BPC stands for body protective compound, and it comes from the stomach slash gastrointestinal tract the peptide that comes from gastrointestinal tract helps with healing, especially with ulcers, Crohn's disease, inflammatory colitis. So I do happen to have a little bit of a IBS issue. We'll see if that improves as well, okay. but I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. Those of you who don't follow me, please consider liking and subscribing. Put a link down below to Herbal 411.